Happy Veterans Day, everybody. This is Rodney Govins, a former communications specialist, Signal Corps, trained. Um, shouts out to Augusta, Georgia, and shouts out to First Armored Division. Uh, that's, you know, coming out of Fort Riley, Kansas, there ain't, there ain't much there. So, uh, shouts out to my former base and, and former unit. Um, I wanted to thank the city of Jonesboro, especially all the gracious hosts today, talking to the community and, and really watching the parade. Oh, it, it brought a little bit of joy to my heart. And it wasn't just because there were a couple of old 1950 and 60 models Bel Airs. Um, I love my hot rods and, and the Corvette club. That was awesome to see the progression of Corvettes. That was awesome to, to see that in the parade. Uh, but also to hear the stories from some of the veterans. Whenever you get a group of veterans together, especially from all sorts of different branches, uh, you always get those good jokes too, right? Um, all of us, you know, we did our thing, we served, we were a part of the team, part of the greater good, and it feels good to be in a room uh, with those guys, especially some of the original guys um, that, that kind of paved the road and paved the way. It was great to sit there and listen and, and hear the stories about Sergeant First Class Carl Mosby. And I'm not going to do some of those stories justice. So I'm going to tell you about a little bit about his story from just today. Uh, so our first class, Carl Mosby, was in the hospital last night. But even though he was in the hospital last night, and even though the mayor and several of the people that were putting this event on begged him and his son not to come, saw our first class retired, Carl Mosby showed up in the sharpest class A uniform that you ever saw. He had his E7 rank in all the right places. All his lapels were perfectly aligned. I don't even think you could take a ruler to find anything wrong with his placement of his medal. It, this man was sharp. And watching him standing up and throwing up the salute flawlessly after being in the hospital last night and being in that uniform was inspiring. Because that's the kind of of selfless service. That's the kind of sacrifice. That's the kind of we need to accomplish this mission attitude that I learned from the U.S. Army. And I, I'm here for it. We talked to Roger Howell. Roger Howell's a veteran. Roger Howell's having some hard time with the VA health care. Uh, he's got a disability claim that's currently hung up. And we talked to a few other Air Force veterans along the same lines, especially with the new burn pit uh, benefits that are available. And we learned so much and we gleaned so much from those guys that today's visit was just outstanding and phenomenal. And I can't thank them enough for their service. And I can't thank them enough for being a part of that ceremony today. And I can't thank the VFW enough for that chili. The chili was pretty good. Was pretty to Congressman Rick Crawford, I know that Jonesboro is your hometown. And I saw you in the parade and you were waving and, and being a part of the community is always a good thing. But when you're scheduled to speak and you don't show up and the ceremony's delayed for 15 to 20 minutes because we're waiting on you and you never come. Congressman, that's disrespectful, not just not just to the city of Jonesboro and to everybody that was in attendance, but more specifically, it's disrespectful to every single veteran that served because it is Veterans Day. So happy Veterans Day to all the veterans. Congressman Crawford, do better. Thanks, everybody. Rodney Govins out.